Hi everyone. In this session, we are going to see how to solve problems on fast Fourier transform. Yeah, the outline of the presentation is going to be in this way. Uh, that is, I am going to solve a problem in n equal to 8 point in DIT and DIF. Similarly, n equal to 4 point in DIT and DIF. And finally, this session will end up with inverse for a fast Fourier transform. Yeah, before getting into the problem, we will start with the fundamental calculation that is Tweedle factor calculation. Uh, what is Tweedle factor? We already know Tweedle factor can be represented by using Wn. Wn is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n. This is what we have already seen in the algorithms derivation. And in general, for n equal to 8 point DIT or DIF, whether it is decimated based on time or frequency, these are going to be the total factors that we are going to use. In, the, in DIT, it becomes decimation in time. In DIF, the decimation is going to be based on frequency. No matter what is going to get decimated, the total factors won't change for both DIT and DIF. So, uh, what is W8? How can we represent W, uh, w uh, subscript 8? Which is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 pi divided by n. n is actually uh, the total number of uh, inputs in the sequence, the length of the sequence. So, n equal to 8. When you substitute it, you get e to the power of minus j pi by 4. So, this is actually a general term which we require for all the powers of uh, all the powers ranging from 0, 1, 2, and 3. First, we will calculate W8 to the power of 0. So, W8 to the power of 0 is e to the power of 0, which is equal to 1. Right. W8 to the power of 1, we already know what is W8 raised to the power of 1. So, this becomes cos pi by 4 minus j sin pi by 4, which is equal to 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707. That is cos 45 degrees minus j sin 45 degrees. Next one is W8 to the power of 2. So, similarly, uh, you do the same calculation. That is, uh, take W8, raise it to the power of 2. We get cos pi by 2 minus j sin pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is 0. That is, cos 90 is 0 and sin 90 is 1. So, we get minus j. The next one is w8 uh, to the power of 3. So, raised to the power of 3, while you calculate that you will get e to the power of minus j 3 pi divided by 4 which is equal to cos 3 pi by 4 minus j sin 3 pi by 4 which is equal to minus 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707. So, these are actually constant values of twiddle factors that we are going to use no matter whether it is going to be decimation in time or decimation in frequency. So, keep this as a key point in your mind. Right? Now, we shall end the uh, actual uh, problems of uh, problem solving of n equal to 8 point DIT as I specified earlier. So, use the 8 point radix to DIT FFT algorithm to find the DFT of the sequence x of n is equal to. So, the sequence is given and there is no zero pointer or any arrow marker. So, the first sequence has to be considered as n equal to 0. So, what is the length of the sequence? n is given as 8. So, n is equal to 8 is the uh, 8 is the actual point sequence we are going to work out now. Uh, what, what is actually shown here is actually the algorithm based calculation. So, all these pages will give you how to calculate the uh, decimate, decimation stages using algorithm, right? So, this will be there in the video, whereas I will take you to the easiest way to solve this problem. So, as soon as you get this problem, you take a paper, turn your page to the landscape mode so that you get the diagram very clearly, okay? So, start drawing. What is the first and foremost uh, point that we have to look at? The last question is DIT algorithm. So, for DIT algorithm, we should remember uh, the most important thing 
the input sequence should be taken in bit reversed order whereas the output see look at this whereas the output will be uh, obtained in the normal order or natural order whatever it is so first draw the diagram turning your page to landscape mode eight very clear lines spacing uh, about 1.5 cm or 2 cm it depends on you uh, see to that you are drawing it very neatly uh, better you can draw transparent lines so that you are not going out of that uh, boundary okay so first stage this is actually the first stage decimation and second stage decimation and this is the third stage decimation so for all these three stages you can better draw lines transparent lines like this marking the node points right so what is the first stage first stage is draw a butterfly like this i put a cross symbol like this and draw the arrow as i told you r of mark represents mul a constant multiplier of 1 right okay so uh, for the first input line leave it plain for the second input line it has to be multiplied by minus 1 so do remember this right then next draw eight lines like this join every two points and do the same procedure do repeat the same procedure so first input parameter second input parameter all second lines are multiplied by minus 1 hope you understood the first stage and before this for dit we have seen the two point dit structure we are supposed to multiply the twiddle factor before multiplying it by minus 1 that is before it is taken inside the butterfly structure so place the twiddle factor w uh, w in front of this butterfly structure right so uh, you might have a question ma'am you told uh, in general we can have the same values that is w8 to the power of 0 1 2 3 this we can keep it common but now you have used to w2 to the power of 0 this is actually uh, going to be taken as w8 to the power of 0 but to show in the, some of the textbooks they would have shown like this so to show that i have uh, um, i'm showing you this w2 to the power of 0 whereas by using the periodicity property property the next diagram which i am going to show you will uh, which i am going to work out for calculation will definitely have w8 to the power of 0 so what is the first step draw eight lines at 2 cm apart take a scale and uh, draw two transparent lines so that you are not moving out of the boundary so see it that so your graph is to be drawn like this the next like this two lines from here and two lines this way uh, follow my pointer right two lines this way and two lines this way and then so i told you uh, the first one has to be considered as first input line so uh, since it is n by 2 now Uh, so this first two lines has to be considered as the first input line and the second two lines has to be considered as the second input line so multiply it by minus 1 on both these two lines okay so make this as common right then last one is once again draw two transparent lines so that you are not going out of the boundary and move the arrow from this point to this point this point to this point this to this and this to this similarly the same way you have to draw right now consider this four lines as one single input line and these four lines have to be multiplied by minus 1 right so this is how you have to draw first try and turn the page to landscape only then if something goes wrong you will be able to locate where the problem is right so the next one uh, before the butterfly you are supposed to fill it with the twiddle factors so here it is uh, filled with w2 to the power of 0 and the next line is w4 to the power of 0 so the, this is first line and this is second line right so w4 to the power of 0 w4 to the power of 1 similarly the same exact replica for the next two four lines right so this has to be multiplied by the twiddle factor so what is the general structure here it is w8 to the power of 0 now you can see you will be surprised right so w8 to the power of 0 w8 to the power of 1 w8 to the power of 2 and w8 to the power of 3 so do remember what is the step before it enters the butterfly structure the twiddle factor has to be multiplied right 
so this is actually the way to draw this dit n point n equal to 8 point structure so after drawing this now come to the input section so this is the input and this is the output this is time domain sequence and this is uh, frequency domain sequence so in time domain it has to be there in the bit reverse order so what am i supposed to do we have already seen how is it actually paired and how is it reversed right so now i'm not going to explain you that so the order is placed like this it is 0 and 4 2 and 6 1 and 5 3 and 7 so if you just look at there will be only one bit change when you compare these two points so that is actually the thing right so bit reversed order now the input sequence given to you will be there in which order n equal to 0 n equal to 1 n equal to 2 it will be given in the natural order so what is that you have to do you have to change it according to the bit reversed order only then you have to take the values otherwise you will go wrong right so this is how we have to draw the general block diagram after drawing look at this so this is how we are going to calculate so what are the values uh, so as per our problem x of 0 is equal to 0.707 and x of 4 is equal to minus 0.707 so the values given in the problem is filled accordingly according to the bit reversed order okay so the next two stages are yet to get the output so please remain as such okay so first thing uh, follow my uh, pointer so first thing is after drawing all these structures first one is see w2 to the power of 0 first thing i told you you have to fill in the basic template so basic template it should have see i have marked w2 to the power of 0 as w8 to the power of 0 so for n equal to 8 point you should remember this even you are asked to get up during the sleep okay you are asked to say during your sleep okay so w2 to the power of 0 is periodic with w8 to the power of 0 see so i have replaced simply w2 to the power of 0 as w8 to the power of 0 okay then go to the next stage here w4 to the power of 0 is replaced by w8 to the power of 0 whereas w4 to the power of 1 is uh, symmetric uh, due to periodicity property it is multiplied by 2 so w8 to the power of 2 so what is the constant element that we have to place here w8 to the power of 0 and w8 to the power of 2 so the same thing you place it here w8 to the power of 0 and w8 to the power of 2 and for the third stage there is no issue so you can simply write w8 to the power of 0 1 and 1 2 and 3 okay hope you understood so now your diagram will simply look at with uh, twiddle factors filled by w8 to the power of okay right now how to follow the calculations so i have placed this bit reversed order sequence because the the sequence uh, of my question was in normal order or natural order i have just taken the sequence you, you know you know normally the sequence starts from n equal to 0 right so now what is the uh, uh, first what is the first step in calculation calculating the two point dft so this is the structure drawn as mentioned earlier the first input has to go here so this is the first stage of calculation where i am going to store the output value so first value is 0.07 uh, 0.707 goes to go to, goes to this point here it is minus 0.707 into what is w8 to the power of 0 you should not forget multiplying the twiddle factor first so minus 0.707 into w8 to the power of 0 is 1 so into 1 in in in, in the, at this point it is minus 7 minus 0.707 into w8 to the power of 0 right so after multiplying this take this here so what is there already stored here it is minus 0.707 sorry 0.707 Uh, plus minus 0.707 what will the what will be the net result net result is 0 right the next one is ha always assume in a two point dft this is a and this is b what a first one a only should come first okay 
right so at this point how to calculate so a has to come first so bring this point 707 and what does this rep line represent simply multiply it by 1 so point 707 into 1 once again it is point 707 right now come to this uh, parameter so this is b right what is the step i have to use minus 0.707 into twiddle factor 1 and it has to be multiplied by one more minus 1 when it is entering this butterfly structure okay so multiplying it by minus 1 what will what will be the value uh, minus 0.707 into minus 1 becomes plus 0.707 where already a 0.707 is there here what will be the added value this is complex addition right so what will be the value 1.414 understood so the next uh, the same procedure we have to follow so this is a b into w8 to the power of 0 so here a plus b into w8 to the power of 0 here it is a plus b into w8 to the power of 0 into minus 1 so this is what is happening now uh, the same value i'm not going to repeat so now look at this Uh, odd sequence uh, first the input is 1 right so 1 goes directly 1 into 1 is 1 now what is stored here 1 is stored now here minus 1 into total factor is 1 it becomes minus 1 so it goes here so 1 plus of minus 1 1 minus 1 the value will be 0 okay similarly come along the pointer so a One has to get dropped. One is there. Now this is minus one into total factor one. It is minus one. Once again, when it enters into the butterfly, it becomes minus one. So minus one into minus one becomes plus one. So already, what is the value dropped? One. So one plus one becomes two. Okay. So this is zero and zero. So obviously, the output values will be zeros. right what is the first stage output these are the first stage outputs hope you would have understood clearly so so these are the first stage outputs this is the procedure we are going to follow throughout okay now all these all these values uh, let's assume all these are stored in this nodes okay we are going to repeat the same procedure as what we did for n equal to 2 point dft right now let us look at the first uh, structure here it is zero so zero is going to get dropped here here there is a zero okay now here is a zero so w8 to the power of 0 is once again 1 so it is 0 0 plus 0 becomes 0 okay the next line what is the value here it is this output is going to be the input for the next stage so what is the input for the input at this point it is 1.414 so 1.414 is dropped here you can look at the diagram it is very clearly mentioned it is 1.414 okay the next one is the next input is 2 but what is that we have to do you have to multiply it by the twiddle factor what is w8 to the power of 2 we have already calculated it is minus j i guess right w8 to the power of 2 is minus j so uh, it is equal to 2 yeah sorry sir sorry there is a mistake in the problem uh, see here it is 0.707 this is getting dropped here minus 0.707 uh, into 1 into minus 1 that will become 0.707 which is going to be the same value see this is the same sequence is repeated but uh, wrong answer has been written so it is 1.414 so sorry for that so 1.414 now what will happen 1.414 is the input at this point already we have dropped 1.414 from this end this point now this 1.414 into w8 to the power of 2 is minus j right so 
into minus j into entire into the butterfly it has to be multiplied by minus 1 now what will be the answer 1.414 plus j 1.414 clear right so the next one probably i can move on to the next so that we can get the clear right so this is the third point so what is the input at this point it is zero and for this i need one more input point this one so zero so first a has to get dropped so zero plus zero into zero zero into one into minus one anyway it is going to be zero so zero plus zero is zero right so this is how we are calculating the next point i hope i have completed all these points right so this is how we are calculating the first stage similarly look at this stage i will explain you see at this point the input is zero now i have to calculate this point so zero is the first input and from where another input is coming at this point right so 0 into w a to the power of 0 is 1. So 0 into anything is 0. Now if it comes here, 0 plus 0 is 0. The next, this is the next point. So what is the input at this point? 2 is the input. So 2 goes directly after multiplying it by unit multiplier. Then from which point it has to get another input? At this point. So 0 into the twiddle factor minus j. 0 into anything is 0. So already 2 is there. 2 plus 0 is 2. Hope you would have understood. The next one is this point. So at this point the direct input is 0. Uh, sorry. Uh, the other input has to come from here. So this is also 0. So 0 plus 0 is 0. The last point. This calculation. We need an input from this point. So this point uh, is 2. 2 I am dropping it down. 0 into uh, w i to the power of 2, 0 into minus j into minus 1. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, 2 plus, uh, 2 plus 0 is 2. Right. So, this is the output of stage 2. Hope you would have understood. So, this is the output of stage 2, which is going to be the input for the last stage. Very easy, right? So, uh, the last uh, procedure is the same thing. So, first uh, input is 0. 0 has to go directly from the, the elevated butterfly. Look at the sequence. The other point is coming from this point. So, here the input is 0 multiplied by the twiddle factor and then it goes up. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. Right? We will come to the next point. So, at this point... 1.414 minus j 1.414 uh, goes directly. At this point, go and check where is the next input. So, it has to come from this point. So, here, what is going to be the value? 2 is already here. 2 into, what is w8 to the power of 1? We have already calculated, right? It is 0.707 minus j 0.707. So, multiply that, add it to this value, you will get this value. Okay, what is, what is the procedure? 2 into multiply W8 to the power of 1, which is 0 0.707 minus J 0 0.707. Take this, already a value, this one is here, plus 2 into this. So, you will get finally this answer. So, this is how we have to repeat the procedure for all the points. Right? So, this is how we calculate decimation in time algorithm. And for this, the output sequence is already available in the natural order. So, we need not worry. At last, after calculating all these things, write the answer. The, DA, the FFT of the sequence x of n is equal for the given sequence x of n is equal to x uh, x uh, so and so is equal to x of k is equal to start from this value and end to n till this value using a flower brace and if possible put an arrow mark for the zero pointer right so this is how you have to work for an n equal to 8 point dit fft
question now look at this dif i can explain you the dif so what is happening in this dif uh, the same thing but there is only one difference now uh, there the butterfly was slowly increasing here the butterfly is bigger at the first uh, portion whereas it is getting uh, uh, decimated while it while it goes in this way right so this is going to be stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 the same procedure as usual eight lines you have to draw turn the page to landscape draw lines and then start drawing this exactly the vc versa structure as we did for dit so draw the structure draw, after drawing the structure as usual the second lines has to be the second set of lines have to be marked by minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 the second set of lines has to be multiplied by minus 1 okay and the second line has to be multiplied by minus 1 so do that procedure very clearly first in dit what is that we did we multiplied the twiddle factors with the input and then uh, and then we ask and then we send for uh, complex addition is it not here only after addition we are going to perform the twiddle factor multiplication right so there is no twiddle factor multiplication before the butterfly starts it is only after the butterfly so what is uh, uh, how how are we going to write the twiddle factors w8 to the power of 0 will sit here w8 to the power of 1 w8 to the power of 2 and w8 to the power of 3 similarly after the butterfly the last two lines have to be multiplied by w8 to the power of 0 and w8 to the power of 2 the same thing here at last it has to be multiplied by w2 to the power, sorry w8 to the power of 0 is equal w8 to the power of 0 right so this is the only change that we have to do in dif structure and the most important thing is the input available at uh, dif will be in natural order so whatever is the sequence given to you you simply take that sequence uh 2 2 2 2 2 1 1 1 1 right so you take the same sequence and start working on it whereas the output available the output that we go we are going to get is going to be there in the bit reversed order where this bit reversed order can be changed to the normal order while writing it right so what is the first step as usual 2 mm, this 2 has to go directly and from where it is to get the next input from here so 2 plus 1 is it not 2 plus 1 it is going to be 3 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 same thing 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 you can look at this this uh, this is actually the uh, multiplied inputs to the next stage hope you can see this all these are simply uh, unit multipliers so we have represented it by 1 right now here i am taking this uh, second set of lines look at this this is your n mm, uh, n by uh, this is actually your first stage it is the decimation sequence now look at this stage one goes directly uh, from here so it is 1 and Uh, what is the other point sorry here 2 uh, comes from here it is 2 now uh, what about this point here it has been dropped look at this point it is 1 inside a minus 1 is there so multiply it minus 1 so 2 minus 1 becomes 1 after that only we are multiplying it with the twiddle factor so you should not forget it so have a very good space here so as to get the output first and then multiply it by the twiddle factors then place that as input in the next stage okay so that is the very important thing required so i am getting 1 1 multiplied by the twiddle factor 1 becomes 1 okay the next line probably you will get an idea here now what is the next line so from here it is getting dropped same one gets dropped here sorry same two gets dropped here now one into minus one 
is minus 1. So what happens? 2 into, uh, sorry, 2 minus 1 is 1. Whereas 1 into, what is the total factor here? It is w8 to the power of 1. What is the value of w8 to the power of 1? We have already seen 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707. So that is going to be, after multiplying it with the twiddle factor, that is going to be the input for the next uh, stage of decimation. Okay, So this uh, multiplied value has been placed here. Hope you can see the structure. Okay. So similarly, the next one and next one. Okay. So this is how we are bringing in the inputs at this stage. Once again, uh, the same procedure. So 3 is getting dropped. 3 into minus 1 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. So 0 is placed here. So this is how we are getting all the multiplied values. And finally, do not forget there is a twiddle factor here. But uh, uh, don't worry, the twiddle factor is only 1 here. So whatever you get at this point is the output for the sequence. So it is there available in the bit reversed order. So this bit reversed order has to be written in the normal order. right? So then there will be a one more possibility of question in this. Uh, what, how will you calculate the magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum? What is magnitude spectrum? Uh, magnitude spectrum is modulus of uh, a square, uh, square root of a square plus b square. Is it not? So use that formula and find out all the uh, modulus magnitude values. Whereas phase spectrum can be obtained by using angle of x of k which is tan inverse of b by a. So apply those two things and find out what is modulus of x of k and angle of x of k. So this is how we plot magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum. Hope you all know it is a very very basic thing which we have done already in DFT sequence. So I am not uh, uh, going to explain all about that okay so this uh, is actually a uh, one more question in dif uh, look at the question so questions can be of different different types obtain the eight point dft of the following sequence using radix 2 dit fft so the input given to us is only 2 1 2 1 Ma'am, you are telling n equal to 8 point sequence, whereas you have given only 4 inputs, then how can I consider the next 4 inputs? So what is that we have to do? We have already studied a concept called as zero padding. So pad it with the zeros according to the num length of the sequence. So padding it with zeros, you get the sequence. This is uh, hopefully understood by you very clearly. It is there in the natural order. Natural order is no disturbance in the input. Take as it is whatever you have given. See this is the padded zeros. So start with the structure. What is that we have to do? Landscape, uh, transparent lines, then uh, draw the lines inside the boundary. Place the twiddle factors after the butterfly structure. Mm, that is very important. Then multiply the second set of lines by minus 1. So this is the procedure we have to follow. Same way you calculate it, you will be surprised, you will get the answer very clearly. If the procedure is clean and neat, this is, the, this is one of the easiest problem that carries 16 marks and the 16 marks is there in your hand. Okay. So, uh, already we have seen 8 point DFT. What is the going to be the difficulty in 4 point? What is 4 point? 4 point is the length of the sequence is 4. Let's take as an example x of n is equal to 1 0 1 0. Right? So 1 0 1 0. Uh, what is the algorithm they have asked? DIT. DIT input has to be in what order? Bit reversed order. So what are the even sequences in a four point? There are only four inputs, right? One is zero and the other one is two. So uh, club the even sequences, club the odd sequences, rearrange it and put it. What is the important point that we have to know, uh, that we have to remember? Twiddle factor has to be multiplied before the 
uh, before entering the butterfly structure okay so place the twiddle factor what is the n equal to uh, n uh, capital n length 4 so w4 to the power of 0 simply this is also w4 to the power of 0 so one goes directly here it is 1 into 1 becomes 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 this is 1 comes directly 1 into 1 into minus 1 becomes 0 so 1 minus 1 becomes 0 okay here it is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 okay so stage 2 is the outputs of this stage is uh one are the inputs for the stage 2 so 2 goes directly here it is zero what are the twiddle factors that have to be used here it is only zero and one so w4 to the power of 0 and w4 to the power of 1 we have already known this twiddle factors so or if you, if not you can calculate it so it is 0 into 1 is 0 2 plus 0 is 0 then next line 0 plus 0 is 0 then next one is 0 goes directly whereas yeah uh, sorry here uh, for this third line 2 comes from here and 0 goes directly so 2 plus 0 is 2 whereas the last line the input comes from here so 0 plus 0 is 0 so the output sequence is 2 0 2 0 this is a four point dft sorry four point f next this is another possibility of problem see no matter what is the algorithm given to you uh, check the two differentiating points one is the butterfly structure and the other one is where we have to place the twiddle factor okay so computing the dft of the sequence x of n is equal to this is actually a very important problem cos n pi by 2 where capital n is equal to 4 using dif fft algorithm now they have given cos n pi by 2 but they have not specified the values right so in that case n equal to 4 n equal to 4 in the sense n takes the value 0 1 2 3 right so substitute n equal to 0 in this sequence so 0 1 2 and 3 if you substitute we know the cosine values right so calculate those cosine values and find out the values right now how the input has to be placed in dif do you remember it is in normal order normal order bigger butterfly at the starting twiddle factors have to be multiplied after the butterfly right so the same procedure but exactly why see what sir we are doing it so do that uh, you will be getting the answers whereas the answer will be there in the bit reversed order you might be surprised why madam is repeating so many times bit reversed order natural order bit reversed order natural order but that is the most important thing or that is the most uh, uh, important where, where important place where you commit mistakes all will process all the things correctly but at last while writing the answer you will make mistakes okay so in the output you have to uh, while writing the output you have to bring it to the normal stage okay right what is inverse fft so after explaining so much of thing uh, we have already told dft is an exact fourier transform fair that is we can cal calculate uh, we can convert the time domain sequence into frequency domain whereas frequency domain sequence can be converted to time domain sequence is it not so in the same way and i have told you already uh, fft is simply to reduce the number of computations that we are getting in dft so the same possibility of obtaining the vice versa is possible by using fft so the trial is what is our inverse fft algorithm inverse fft algorithm in the sense let x of k be the n point dft of length n sequence x of n the inverse dft this we know already the formula how can we obtain the same thing using butterfly structure ma'am now i am very convenient with this butterfly structure please tell me a procedure to execute the same thing by using dit and dif yes it is possible an fft algorithm can be used to compute the inverse dft by place replacing x of n by x of k taking the negative powers of w 
to w n and dividing the output by n so these two are very important points probably it is theoretical i'll show you in the block diagram block diagram hence in order to compute the inverse dft from an fft algorithm following steps can be followed first step take x of k as the input sequence and x of n as the output sequence so this is the first point x of k has to be taken as the input sequence and x of n has to be taken as the output sequence compute fft by replacing the twiddle factors there in normal uh, algorithm we used w n as twiddle factor here the only difference is we are going to use w n to the power of minus 1 at last obtaining all the outputs uh, divide the output sequence by capital n so dit algorithm becomes dif inverse fft algorithm and vice versa for example dit inverse fft butterfly diagram for n equal to 8 so i am going to show you an n equal to 8 algorithm which is going to be as follows so what is the first step take x of k as the input so uh, we have taken x of k as the input so x of k is taken whereas the output is there in the bit reversed order so what are the procedures this is actually using dif sorry i made a mistake uh, this is using dif algorithm right so dif input is in normal order so we have placed in normal order what is the only difference here we have to multiply it by the twiddle factor wn inverse wn to the power of minus simply include a minus symbol in the uh, whatever you have simply take the inverse values okay so apply the same procedure take an inverse after calculating all these things last step what you are supposed to do divide it by n what is the value of n n is going to be 8 okay so divide all the values by 1 by 8 the input sequence will be there in the reversed order change it to the normal order that is that will be that will give you your time domain sequence so this is the same thing we do it for dit also right so with this the session is getting over thank you so much yeah one thing i have left so these are the possibility of assignment questions some of the um, questions uh, which are not relevant to this topic is also added so better leave that but this it is not relevant to your subject it is relevant to this particular topic probably it will be useful for useful for the other topics uh, so these are uh, some of the problems you can try it on your own and if you have any doubts please uh, do contact me so these are some possible sample problems